travel this is Ari with episode 50 and today we're going to work out the week of the bunch the pinky finger um, pinky finger really uh, benefits from a good workout there's a physiological reason why we don't like to move it independently the ring finger and the pinky share a tendon all the other fingers have their own pretty much their own hardware uh, and, and are very well equipped to move independently. But the ring finger and the middle finger, they love moving together. So we have to coax them into uh, performing all this intricate technique separately. And this is what today's workout is going to do. It is not about speed, it's much more about coordination. And as always, my recommendation to play with as much relaxation as possible. If you're over gripping the neck, if you're squeezing the wood, um, then you're not doing yourself a favor. You are uh, going to work much harder than you need to. And um, it makes one finger per fret really hard. But there's no reason for that if you teach yourself to just let go of all that tension. So today's exercises will be a great opportunity for that. As always, my basic setup, I recommend to um, counteract over gripping. If you feel that that's something you might be doing, then check yourself. The weight of the right arm on the base creates a slight counterweight to this movement. When you push down a string, base wants to go this way. So we unconsciously overcompensate by squeezing against that with the thumb. But there's no reason to do that if we just use the weight of the right arm to sort of counteract that. And then the base is connected here as I play the string. Here, just with the weight, there's nothing special I need to do. And right up here. And it really takes a load off the thumb. Let's start with the pinky pedal number one. That's the first exercise on your PDF. You have tab as well as score. I as always encourage you to look at the score if you can. The tab is, however, useful to guide you as to how to finger these exercises because there would be more than one option. If you just look at the notes and you could actually put the pivoting note or the pedal note on a different finger, but we want to work out the pinky. So in that sense, you want to follow along with the chart. And let's jump right in and do this at, at tempo 100. One, two, three, four. So it's key to stay loose. If you feel your hand cramping up, just drop it for a second, let the blood return into the fingers and um, then try again. In the fifth bar, I want to point out a finger ring. We're coming down from this finger and then we're moving up to the A flat, so we're moving up the whole hand. And a great way to do that is by shifting from here to here by this little pivot motion where I make my hand temporarily smaller and then use that as a pivot point to go to the new position. Um, I call that movement the crab because it makes your hand move sideways. All right, there's no reason to should play this at blasting tempo. You will get um, a great effect from it if you play it a little slower. So I'm gonna play it again at tempo 80. Pinky pedal number one. One, two, three, four. <laughs> if you did this at half the tempo so I'm leaving the metronome on 80 right now and I'm counting eighth notes it's a great exercise to do this slow check it and so forth but, um, feel free to take it at a slow tempo this is not necessarily a speed exercise at all and here we go, pinky pedal number two. I'll start this one on tempo 80. One, two, three. 
Okay, let's try that one at the faster tempo. Number three incorporates a rhythm of eighth notes and two sixteenth notes. Let's do that one slow. By the way, in the uh, pinky pedal number two, we had in the third bar of it this really interesting figure where we're going down the entire scale. Almost. So you have, in addition to the pinky and the f uh, ring finger constantly alternating, you have this shift in there as well. So that's a spot worth isolating right there the third bar of pinky pedal number two pinky pedal number three here comes tempo 80 One, two three four so with this rhythm you'll feel that because you have those eighth notes in there, it gives you a second of a break. So um, it is a good one to try if you had trouble with the other two. Uh, here's tempo 100. One, two, three. We're starting with the third finger, so it's three and four marching across two strings. And then we're just displacing the beat a little bit, so where the downbeat is, which in the finger mechanic stays the same, but still feels different. Um, that's, this is eighth note, so let's put that one on tempo 100. Here we go. One, two. Three, four. And lastly, string crossing number two. That one is the works because now we're going all across the string while pedaling. And then we swap and pedal with the upper note. So now the ring finger is the pedal note. Uh, here we go. One. Okay, sounds quite interesting. That's a pinky workout. You might want to spread those exercises out, not do them all in one bunch. Um, do a few here, a few there. Move up the neck if down here is, is straining your hand. Just transpose the thing, move it up. The distances are closer together and it, uh, it's much, much easier. Also, if you have a hard time stretching one finger per fret, then make micro movements, you know? You can get pretty fast with that. That was Talking Technique episode 50. Five zero. A jubilee of sorts and that's why the fifth finger uh, got a little love today and I as always thank you very much for watching I appreciate you tuning in please let me know in the comments how your pinky is doing and if you enjoy systematic and comprehensive teaching like that please check out aresbaseblog.com subscribe for free base educational content in your inbox each week thank you very much bye <laughs>